Hey beauties, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm getting ready using a full face of my favorite Chanel products. Everything shown today is best of the brand in my personal opinion. And a lot of these things will be incredibly familiar to you, especially if you watched my last video on the top 10 Chanel Beauty Essentials. But now you get to really see them in action as I create this fun, shimmery, summer evening look. So let's begin. Now that my skincare is complete, my hair is pulled back, I'm going to prep my eyelids. And today I am using the Chanel eyeshadow base. And I'm just going to dab a little bit of this directly on my eyelids and then blend it out with my taper kabuki brush. I really do love this eyeshadow base. I don't use it all of the time, but it dries down to a very silky smooth texture. So it's perfect for holding on to your eyeshadow, increasing the longevity, filling in little fine lines. I'm using my Le Beige eyeshadow palette, which you guys know is definitely one of my favorite products from Chanel. And with a little fluffy brush, I'm going to start with this shade right here. It's a cooler toned but medium intensity eyeshadow. And this is going to be our transition. So slowly but surely, I'm just going to buff that into the crease. So same on the other side, and once again, I'm sort of flicking out my brush and exaggerating the outer V area. And then before moving on, I'm going to take my brush with no additional product, and I'm going to blend on top, just to keep everything really nice and seamless and well blended. Picking up a more compact eyeshadow brush now, I'm going into this top shade right here, which is the darkest shade in the palette. And I'm going to use that to create some darkness, a little depth and dimension in the outer V area. I love this eyeshadow palette so much. I recently took it with me on a trip for Memorial Day weekend. We attended one of my very great friend's weddings. And I thought, you know what, maybe I should take, you know, something different, something with pops of color. But no, I took my Le Beige palette and it was perfect. I'm concentrating the majority of the dark eyeshadow in the outer V, outer crease, but I am kind of slowly blending it in, keeping it low in the crease, but keeping it nice and soft. Once again, I'm going to go back with my original fluffy brush and just make sure that these two eyeshadows that we've laid down are nice and soft and seamless. Now, as much as I love the Le Beige eyeshadow palette, this is not the star of the show for today's look. I'm going in with another one of my favorite eye products from Chanel. And it's one that I've had for a very long time, so it's slightly dry, uh, dried out. This is New Moon. It's one of the Illusion Ohm eyeshadows. It's a cream eyeshadow, but it's one of the more shimmery, more metallic ones. So New Moon is almost like a beautiful rose gold. They also have a silver and a really pretty white color. I know they've sort of gone away with these. I know they're still available, but they haven't really brought out new colors, so I'm really hoping that this isn't going anywhere because it has been one of my favorite Chanel products for years. I just love this so much. So before we go in with New Moon though, I'm going to take a little bit more of the eyeshadow base from Chanel on the back of my hand, and with a flat shader brush, I'm going to pick up a little bit of that cream and it's a very gel like cream so it's not going to add color and I'm going to go directly on the eyelid and just tap and pat up to the crease but not above it and I'm concentrating this on the inside but then I will go 
kind of blend into the center as well. And I'm gonna do one eye at a time because I want to be as quick as possible so that this doesn't dry. So while this is still a little bit tacky, I'm going to quickly apply some new moon eyeshadow. And the purpose of using the eyeshadow base, and I would recommend any sort of eyeshadow base or glitter glue, is because it is incredibly shimmery and it will help prevent little flecks from falling <laughs> all over your cheeks. The best way to apply this eyeshadow is with the little brush that comes with it or any flat shader brush, even your finger is a great tool. I'm gonna go back and pick up some more. So now I have very little fallout on my cheeks. The eyeshadow base is also going to help keep the color really intense and give it the most vibrancy and you'll get the most pop. When the product is fresh and new and you're just opening it, you may not have an issue, but if it does start to dry out on you, which is perfectly normal and expected, you'll just want to wet your brush, use some sort of mixing agent, and then you won't have an issue. So now I'm gonna go on the other side and same thing. And I'm using the same brush. As long as you, you know, apply the eyeshadow base directly on the back of your hand and then use the brush, you're not gonna dirty the wand. I'm going to go back now with a little bit of that really dark eyeshadow and I'm just going to pat this directly on the outer V. I don't have a lot of fallout on my cheeks at all and we used a very sparkly product so that's saying something, but I am gonna just quickly dust off my cheeks just in case. And then it's the middle of the afternoon, but this look is clearly evening. So to prime my skin, I'm going to go in with my Le Beige Water Fresh Tint. This is a really beautiful, lightweight tint that can be used as a primer. And I think that's really when it's best for evenings because it doesn't have SPF. It's not gonna give you any sort of flashback. And the gel texture, I'm gonna use this little Bobbi Brown brush. It fills in your fine lines, it fills in pores, it just sort of smooths the skin, and then that tint will help with your complexion. And today I'm using my favorite Chanel foundation. That is the Ultra Lit Tint. This is perfect for special occasions, special events, for evenings out, date nights, photos, brides, if you're getting married, if you're going to a wedding, this is a great foundation. It's long wearing, it's got a natural matte finish, great coverage, it is buildable, but it's sort of medium to full. Um, but the other reason not why I really like it is that it's not sticky. A lot of long wear foundations dry down very fast and they can be tacky and just kind of feel like glue <laughs> or face concrete, I often joke. This does not do that whatsoever. So again, I'm gonna go in with the same brush, my full coverage face brush. This is from Bobbi Brown. Next, I'm going in with my favorite concealer. This is the Chanel Corrector, which I use this all the time. It's one of my favorite concealers. I don't really have a concealer that I like more than this one. It's a little bit more hydrating than the old formula, but it just looks really nice. And I find that for me, this does not crease as much as any other option that I have. So it's my go-to. By far my favorite concealer and it happens to be Chanel. Before I set my concealer, I'm going to go in with my Soleil Tan de Chanel to warm up my skin. 
and to use this to apply it to my face, I'm using my Bare Minerals Smoothing Face Brush. This is a duo fiber brush, but the bristles do not break the way a lot of duo fibers will. So I just pick up the product directly with the brush, and then I'm just going to stipple that directly to my cheeks. This bronzer really is so easy to use and easy to blend. It's fast and if you feel like you've gone in with too much product and you're having trouble, just go in with any sort of blank brush or you can use your old foundation brush and I'll just use this to make sure everything is nice and smooth and I didn't apply too much bronzer. So you can always go back with your foundation or concealer brush. And then to set my creams, I'm going to go in now with my loose powder from Chanel. The tiniest bit is really all you need. In my Chanel favorites video, I know I mentioned Jersey as being my favorite Chanel blush. And it really is one of those classic colors, classic pieces. But for today, I'm going to use sort of a current favorite, which is the Voyage de Chanel. I believe it is still available, so I figured I might as well show it off because this really is a gorgeous, fun, kind of blush of the summer, if you will. So I'm gonna just swirl all over. I know there are separate little quadrants, so if you prefer your blush to be more pink or more red, more bronzy, you can kind of spend more time wherever you desire, but I'm a swirler. Tap off the excess. To highlight my cheeks, I'm using one of my favorite highlighters from Chanel, and this was really tough to choose. Of course, I love and swear by my Soleil Tan de Chanel liquid illuminator, but I wanted to find a powder version, and the new Opal is beautiful. All of the current shades available are stunning, but I'm going to throw it back to the holidays with the Lion de Chanel. This is a little bit more of a gold highlighter, which I'm not generally drawn towards, but this is a very beautiful pale sort of champagne gold. And since we kept the eyes pretty bronzy, I wanted to keep the skin sort of golden as well. All right, I feel like we've reached the home stretch. There are only a few more steps left. So of course I'm gonna go in with my black liquid eyeliner for the top and I'm using the Signature de Chanel, which this is one of my favorite products from Chanel. I almost included it on my Chanel Essentials list, but I figured not everybody really loves liquid eyeliner. It's sort of a specific niche. If you like that look, it's a this is the best product out there. But if you don't love liquid eyeliner, it really wouldn't make sense to include it. But this is definitely one of my favorite products. Now for the bottom eyeliner, I'm going to add a pop of color. <laughs> I'm going to use the Stilogio Waterproof in Intense Teal. And I'm going to try to keep this look from getting crazy smoky, but it is going to make it a little bit darker. So I'm gonna just take this and start running it underneath my lower lash line. And I think I'm gonna take it only halfway in. And 
then with a little precision brush, I'm going to quickly smudge it out before it dries. So I'm applying the eyeliner halfway in, but when I smudge it, I'm bringing it all the way in. But that way it just sort of ensures that it'll be soft on the inside. For mascara, I'm using the La Volume Revolution, which has the 3D printed brush, which is really cool. And I love this mascara because it gives a very bold, dramatic lash. I'm using black, but I know they currently have several different shades available on Chanel.com, so if you're a colored mascara person, then I would highly recommend checking them out because they have a teal, I believe there's a purple and a brown. They have some really cool shades. Now that lashes are done, we have lips, which was sort of a difficult decision because I have so many favorite lipsticks from Chanel, and of course red is so iconic, but if I had to choose my favorite everyday lipstick or favorite in terms of what I use the most, it's 402 Adrian, and I'm sure you've seen it a ton on my channel. This is a lipstick that it's just so wearable. It's a really pretty nude. It's sort of a peachy pinky nude and it looks great on everybody for those times when you just want something that you can throw on every day. You don't have to think about it. The very final step to set the makeup is one of my favorite products. It's the Sublimage Le Brume Hydrating Mist. I save this for special occasions, so it is very rare that I use it. But when I do, it always feels like a special occasion, so I'm going to finish my makeup with this today. This is gorgeous because it has that vanilla planifolia water, so it's refreshing. It has beautiful skincare benefits. You can use it to prime the skin, set your makeup, refresh throughout the day, and it makes you feel luxurious. <laughs> Ugh, it's so beautiful and it comes in this gorgeous twist and spray similar to the fragrances that come in these travel twist and sprays like I know Coco Mademoiselle has this really pretty white and gold one. It's just luxury in a bottle. Beautiful. And that completes today's video, so thank you so much for getting ready with me. Hopefully you enjoyed the makeup tutorial. If you did, give it a thumbs up, leave me any of your comments or your questions down below. As always, I will be linking everything used today on my face down in the description box for your convenience. And for more videos like this, don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell.